what can I be doing to help make my fashion more supple? I don't know if that's a good one. Okay. So I think having a really good routine that you do consistently would be, it is important. In fact, it should be, you know how they say we need to do aerobic exercise, weightlifting. We need a fascial routine. Now they say stretching. So I think stretching is really our fascial routine, but, and that can be done on our own. And then we can have certain tools at home to make that work for us. So well, having some, this is the fascia is far more than stretching though. So stretch, fa- stretching is part of it. It lengthens the fascia, but it's not breaking up the tightness of it per se. That's right. If the fascial adhesions are something they can release on their own at home, do it. And like you said, you have a great resource for a, a, a yoga person. There are lots of online videos about how to release fascia with foam rollers, with lacrosse balls. And, and if that doesn't do it, then going to see a practitioner who knows how to use shearing. Because shearing, you really need to have the pressure on the outside, the bone on the inside. So you've got two kinds of pressure. And then you need somebody to work to shear the fibers in the opposite direction that they run in order to get them to release. And they will, and not only will they release, but they will also create a much healthier fascia milieu, (laughs) much more healthier fascial cells. Um, It will literally increase new blood vessel formation. It'll stimulate the local immunity. So, um, you know, there's there's just some really amazing therapies out there that can help people to to live and, and, and live more freely, have less pain.